Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph the inequality y is less than 3x plus 3. So to graph this, basically what we want to do is think about this, graphing this as like a linear equation in slope intercept form, and then we'll use the inequality to help us shade. So when we're identifying, when we're graphing in slope intercept form, the main important thing is we want to understand what is the slope and what is the y-intercept. So if I have an equation in y equals mx plus b format, I'm going to leave this up. We know that m represents the slope, which is a ratio, and b represents the y-intercept. So in this case, I can say that my slope is equal to 3, and my y-intercept is, e is also equal to 3. But it's very important to understand that you know, slope, again, represents the change in the y-coordinates between any two points and the change in the x-coordinates between any two points. And it's a ratio. So we always want to write slope as a fraction. And if we have a whole number, we can just rewrite it as 3 over 1. Now, the y-intercept, on the contrary, represents a point. It doesn't rep a ratio. It represents a point where the y value is equal to 3 and the x value is equal to 0. So we, a lot of times we want to write the y-intercept as 0, 3. So now, to go ahead and graph this equation, basically, all we're simply going to do is plot my y-intercept, to graph this inequality, plot my y-intercept, which is 0, 3. So I go up 1, 2, 3. Then I'm going to follow my slope, which remember says the change in the y was the positive 3. So that means I go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3. And the change in the x values between two points is 1. So I can go over 1. So I go up 3, over 1. And then I can simply connect. And I can just follow that pattern up. And you can see that the triangle is going to be the same. You could also do this pattern in the negative. Instead of going up 3 to the right 1, you could go left 1, down 3. All right, 1, 2, 3. But now, I have my graph here. And then I can go ahead and plot. And before I graphed it, I forgot to mention, before you even get graphing, the first thing you want to do is identify, is your boundary line, is that going to be dashed or solid? And since this is a less than, it's going to be dashed. Um, if it was less than or equal to, it would be solid. So therefore, that's why you don't want to get graph happy, because this is supposed to be represented by a dashed line. All right, so now I have this dashed line as my boundary line. I need to determine, am I going to shade above or below my, my boundary line? So to do that, what we want to do is test a point. And the best, pet point, bah, 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 the best point to test is going to be 0, 0. So I say test 0, 0. Now to test 0, 0, what I want to do is identify, is 0, 0 true for my inequality? So to do that, I'm going to plug in 0, 0 in for x, or plug 0 in for x and plug 0 in for y and then identify if the inequality is true for those values. So now I just go ahead and simplify. 0 is less than 3. Well, is 0 less than 3? Yes, it is. That's true. So since one point below my line is true, that means all points below my line are going to be true. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph an inequality. Thanks.